and welcome back to my channel. So today we have like, I'm gonna call it a mukbang, but it's literally like four pieces of sushi. Well, I've already ate like four off camera. <laughs> it's like three or four pieces of sushi and a Beyond Burger from BurgerFi. I have never had it and we're gonna try it today. Um, but I wanted to, mostly this is a hair update. Um, if you're new, which most, most of you are new, hi, hello. Uh, and you're like, why would she do a whole video dedicated to her hair? <laughs> the past two years have been traumatic for my hair. Um, so, <clears throat> I'll leave the playlist in the description or maybe like in one of the cards above. Because, yeah, it's been, it's been rough for my hair these past two years. Um, but also I have an update with Jeffree Star because I know that's why most of you people who are new subscribed was because of the Jeffree Star video. I've actually had people unsubscribe because I haven't put up the, the new one. That's not my fault. Literally not my fault. My boxes still have not been shipped yet. Today is Tuesday, February 5th, and it is like, I don't know, 11.30, 11.40 over in California. So, if their postal services, which I'm assuming they are since it's like the U.S., not just like different states I'm assuming that they only have about three to four more hours for my boxes to be even shipped out today because usually like once once things are dropped off past 2 p.m. that's usually the cutoff for things to be sent out the next business day um so that's that my boxes still haven't shipped I did email customer service about it though and I did that yesterday and they said that <clears throat> because it's a new launch that I need to wait six days. Today is six days. Tomorrow, when this video will be up, will be a full week since I have ordered it and I still have not got it. I am in the US <laughs> and there are people in Europe who have already, already had theirs. I don't understand it, but it's fine. <sighs> so I'm looking at the, not being able to get this Valentine's Day box. This Valentine's Day box, as he marketed it, I might not even have it until after Valentine's Day. Maybe won't even have it until March. My order did get shipped out today at around 8.30 my time, 5.30 their time. Don't know how or why it got shipped out so late, but it did. That's good. Bad thing is, if it doesn't get here by Friday evening, then I won't be able to get it until next weekend, which is the weekend after Valentine's Day, because, as I said in my first video, I wasn't able to have it shipped here to my dorm for whatever reason. I had to have it sent to my grandmother's house, and the only time I see her is on Saturdays, so if it's not here by Friday evening for her to be able to bring up to where I'm at Saturday, then... I won't be able to get it until next Saturday because that is the next time that I will see her. Um, so it's very stressful. I'm really hoping it comes here soon. It hasn't really moved anywhere since I've got the shipping notification because I keep checking it constantly. But as of me getting the shipping notification and as of me sitting down to edit this, it is on a it as in I don't know if it's all of my boxes it says my order has shipped so I'm hoping that means all three of them together <sighs> whatever the order is on its way to a USPS shipping facility in California so it hasn't even left California yet and I'm just like <sighs> but it's fine at least we know now that it will get sent to us at some point but I will say that I will not do an unboxing video until I have all three in my hands. This is not a Shane Dawson video. We're not turning this into a six-part series. No, it's not happening. <laughs> I've already spent too much time and research and effort on this video, honestly. It's... Let's move on. I don't know. So that's that. That's why there hasn't been a new Jeffree Star video. Mm. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, 
you need to go do that because almost every day I've been putting updates on my story and if you go to my profile there's a highlight where I'm putting everything all the information I'm finding out about the mystery boxes in that highlight up until the point that I get it and I can make the video here so that's that little snippet to get that out of the way I feel like I just really rushed into that. So, hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> but seriously, how how are you? Because the weather has been crazy in the U.S. lately. Like, if you live outside the U.S., I don't know how it's been there. But we just went through, like, a polar vortex. And last week, they literally canceled classes one day at my university because the wind chill was getting into, like, the negative 20 and 30s. And then right now, it is... It's literally, come on now, it's literally 60 degrees outside right now. Like, I had to change into shorts when I got into my room because I was so hot. It's just, it's weird, it's crazy right now. Um, but the weather is always crazy in my state. I don't, I don't know if I've ever mentioned like on my channel what particular state I live in. Uh, Obviously, a lot of people who are on this channel know me personally, so they know which state I live in. Um, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, where I'm at, where I'm not at, but I will say that I am on the East Coast and I can't pick up the sushi, so I'm just going to eat it with my hand. <clears throat> I am on the East Coast. I don't know what significance that makes about me or my channel. Mmm. Mm. Actually, it is significant. Oh my god, I feel so gross. <laughs> this is my first time, like, eating on camera. I usually don't do this, but... Hi, how are ya? Okay. I do know why it's significant. I'm on the East Coast. One, I don't have access to the same thing that everybody else has. If I lived on the West Coast, I would probably already have my box by now. And then also, like, other accesses. There's a lot of stores and um, restaurants. Just places in general that the the west coast has that the east coast does not and it's probably very stereotypical of me to say that or not that but this what i'm about to say that there's a completely different mindset out in the west that the east coast doesn't have um or at least the southeast <laughs> coast that i've experienced um yeah i'm not i'm not actually on the coast like I don't live in a state that has a beach I feel like I'm <laughs> you guys will be trying to figure out where I live out now um <clears throat> pretty much uh I don't even know how to explain it without like figuring out where it's at but I am not on the west coast and I'm not on the east coast I'm but I'm not in like the mid area it doesn't it doesn't matter why am I still talking about this? It does not matter. Okay. So, yeah. Jeffree Star update. Ooh. Had to move my chair. This isn't a table, by the way. Let me see if I can turn it. See. This is my office chair or desk chair, whatever. I don't have a table in my room, so I'm on the floor making this. And I'll probably make my next video that's going to go up Friday. <laughs> still sitting in the floor because I don't have the will to get up. Um, let's talk about this burger for a second, and then we will move on to the hair stuff. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm gonna eat a piece of the onion ring. Like I said, this burger came from Burger Fi. Maybe I didn't, but it, you can see it says Burger Fi right here. Bring it up here so you can see it better. This is what's known as the Beyond Beyond Burger. And traditionally I'm pretty sure this like at Burger Fi has lettuce tomato 
ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, uh, pickles, excuse me, and diced onions and American cheese. I'm very picky and don't like the majority of those things. So I, um, I got some mayonnaise on the side. It was supposed to be on the burger and on the side, but got it on the side, put some on here. So it's mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, cheese. And then since I took some things off, I added things back on and got a, let's see, supposed to be, um, an egg. Yep. I think I can see it. Okay, yeah. I was making sure everything was on there. I thought they forgot something for a second. The extra stuff I got was an onion ring, an egg, and hash browns. Super, super fatty, everything. If it's fine. I'll, I'll go walk after this. Um, and I also got some burger fry sauce on the side. I tasted it. I gotta put my glasses back on. This is killing me. I took them off because, like, the glare that it creates. The only thing I can compare this to would be like um, Steak and Shake's Frisco sauce, but that could be a complete and utter lie because they haven't had Frisco sauce in years, obviously, because I've been vegetarian for two years. Um, the sushi is the same stuff I meal prepped in my, oh my god, my glasses are dirty. Same I meal prepped in the last video. Uh, tip, don't be done like me and use avocado in your meal prep. It gets a really gross brown color. I'm a complete idiot. I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> but, like, I hadn't ate until, up until now. So, I had, like, f uh, eight pieces of sushi on here. And then by the time I started this, I had three left. But still, like, it's not a mukbang, obviously, because it's just, like, a burger and some sushi. I don't have, like, a whole table full of stuff. But this is a lot for me, and I almost just took a drink of soy sauce, but Dr. Pepper and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, if you're new and you're like, why the heck is she making a video about her hair? There's a playlist literally called My Hair. <clears throat> Go check that out. You'll see the, the trauma that has been going on with my hair since November 2017. Um... Some things with it have gotten better, some things have gotten worse, as we'll talk about. Um, but pretty much the main reason that I wanted to do this is because right before I moved up here to my new university, can't pick this up, I cut my hair. And I think I mentioned in a video that I was thinking about cutting it and dyeing it. I dyed it back in November of like this past year, 2018, um, and I said that I would show you guys me doing that. I didn't do that. I did not show you. I just, I just had it done and then it was there on my channel. So yeah, it was dyed. So pretty much from like that point to now is what I'm going to be talking about. Um, again, if you didn't know, I had a perm, I had two perms actually done way back when. So that is still affecting me in the sense that Whenever I got my hair dyed, it had been May, June, July, August, September, October, November. It had been seven months since I had last got my hair permed. Um, it was obviously still very, very damaged. Don't get a perm. But I decided, oh, it's been seven months. I can definitely dye it and it'll be as okay as my hair can be. Um, so I dyed it navy blue. You can really see that color whenever I first did it. I think the first video that I showed it in might have been when I did my foot peel. I don't remember. <clears throat> but it was, it was beautiful. I loved it. I felt like a different person. It was amazing. Um, now it's faded. You can't really see it because like of course when I film a hair video it's going to be pushed back, hasn't been washed in two days, and greasy, um, it's in a ponytail right now, but it's turned to this more, like, black, brown color, which I'm fine with, because I was afraid that since it was a blue, that it was gonna fade, like, green instead, but it's just turned more of, like, a brownish color, um, uh, it's actually fading really nicely with my natural strawberry blonde, <clears throat> so that's, that's the dye part. I also, like I said, I got my hair cut right before I came up here, so like either 
right at the end of this December or right at the beginning of January because I moved up here January 6th. Sometime between that I had my hair which was down to like the middle of my back when it was like pushed past my shoulders but past year it probably came down to about boob level I guess. Um, maybe a little bit longer than boob level. I don't know. Um, but pretty much my perm was getting really nasty and straggly looking and I just really wanted to get it fixed and the only way I knew how to fix it was either to get it permed again or just to cut it out and I said I'm not perming this again I absolutely hate having to take care of it it looks beautiful but it's too much for me and so I got it chopped up to my shoulders right here um not not short enough to be a bob just right at the shoulders um and that helped a lot with how it looked there's still some curl definitely in it i'll probably have to wait like another six or seven months before i can cut it off again to fully get the perm out but it's definitely looking a lot better and a lot healthier now so yeah i cut off all the scraggly ends all the dry ends from having it dyed uh and for like the most of january i liked it i felt better having it cut and that was because like one of the things I was struggling with the um, was my hair was falling out and it had been falling out since my first perm and it's just gotten worse and worse and worse like it's not enough that it's messing with how thick my hair is or how my hair looks but it's enough that it's noticeable that I should not be pulling this much hair out while I'm in the shower um, like I said, it first started when I got my first perm done. And then I went vegan January 2018. This is saying nothing bad against veganism. I think veganism is, is awesome. If you can do it, that's awesome. But I couldn't where I was at. I made a video about this. The place where I was going to school does not provide proper nutrition to be able to support that diet and that lifestyle. And for the three, four months that I was vegan, my hair started falling out worse. I went back to being vegetarian uh, about the same time that I permed my hair. So I, I could I could tell a, a slight difference that my hair was getting better, but then like I went back and had it repermed for a play and that just that made it worse again. And it's just continuously kind of fallen out since then. Now that the perm is kind of gone and the effects of it are kind of gone, it's been like less bad. It got worse again for a minute when I dyed it because the ends were falling off. They were like breaking off because they were so dry and damaged from the perming and then the, the dyeing and all that. Um, so it's just, it's all bad. <laughs> My hair is just all bad right now. I'm probably not going to do anything with it for a few years, if ever again, uh, if I can avoid it. So that's that. My camera is literally dying and I haven't even taken a bite of this burger. So I'm going to try it, tell you what I think about it, and then I'll probably have to call this video done. Um, it was really short and I apologize for that, but yeah, my little battery I can see is on one bar and I don't have another battery for my camera. I don't even think you can buy batteries for this kind of camera. So let me just see if I can get this out of here. Everyone says that this does taste like a real burger, but I I don't smell it. Like, it doesn't smell like meat. I gotta get up here next to the table in case I drop anything because I'm a terribly messy eater. But, cheers. Okay. dropped something. I don't know what it was. I didn't get everything that's on the burger because I have so many toppings. Like this thing is massive and I do have a big mouth but not big enough to fit that whole all the toppings. Kind of let's see if we can show the the bite here. The bottom thing is the hash brown and then right above it is the patty. 
I still don't smell the meat. I can, I can taste why people say this tastes like actual meat. Because there is that like charred, smoky flavor. But you can definitely still tell that this is something trying to be meat. And I'm completely okay with that because I've said this several times, I'm not a fake meat person. But like, if it stops you from eating the real thing, then go for it. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, yeah. Wow, so I was not very articulate on how I felt about that burger at all. Obviously it was because my camera was dying, but I will say now, um, I would give the burger, uh, this is hard. If it would have been presented better, I think it would have been a 6 out of 10 for me, but the way I got it was a 4 out of 10. There was only like one tiny tomato and then one leaf of lettuce on there. And the mayonnaise that they had was not very flavorful. So overall, it was just very, very bland. The hash brown that was on it was really weird. I ended up taking it off as well as the onion ring because it just like started falling apart. If it would have had more like fresh ingredients on it like the better lettuce and a better tomato and also like more seasoning on it I think it would have been better it was better with the burger fry sauce I didn't show it um on camera but I did try it with the burger fry sauce and it was so much better it adds so much flavor and it was it was a lot better so yeah four out of ten as it was I think the potential for me is a six out of ten I don't think I can ever get it to a seven or eight or a nine or a ten um, it, my stomach did start hurting after eating it. I don't know if it was because of the fake meat taste that, like, my body's just like, ew. Um, or maybe it was because I had eight pieces of sushi and then the whole burger. <laughs> um, either way, it wasn't a pleasant experience. If I ever decide to have a burger again, I think I would rather spend more money and buy the ingredients myself and make it rather than get it at Burger Fly. So, yeah, that's a more in-depth review of the Beyond Burger. Hope you guys enjoyed this super, super disorganized video. I need to start, I gotta start doing better <laughs> about organization. Um, I'll see you in the next one, which will be Friday, and it's gonna be another Rant of the Week video where we're gonna talk about attitude. See ya.